Greetings. In this video, I want to show you what to do if your Microsoft Surface is hanging on the Microsoft logo and it just literally just stays on here and will hang. So it doesn't matter if you have a Microsoft Surface 3 or 7 or 6. This specific one is a Surface Pro 7. So it will work on any Pro that you have. So if it's just hanging and if it's only been a few minutes, just plug it, make sure it's plugged into the wall, that it's got power, and leave it sitting for like an hour. Because it may be doing updates. It may just have a, a big update that it needs to do. So just let it do the updates. And then after you come back after an hour and an hour and a half and it's still hanging on that Microsoft logo, what I want you to do is just power it down, force it down. And to do that, of course, you just hold down the power button for like five seconds. Shut it down completely. And then turn it back on and see if that will work. Next thing what I want you to do is remove all peripherals. So remove your keyboard and physically check it to make sure that there's no USB uh, hanging on here. Like a, you might have a USB mouse or you might have like a memory stick in the USB port. Physically make sure that there's nothing attached and then restart it and then tell me if it will power back on. Next thing I want you to do is hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time. And I want you to hold that down for a good 10 to 15 seconds. And then what I want you to do while holding down the, the volume down button is to release the power button and then release the volume down. And then tell me if that will get you into Windows. After you've tried that, if it's still hanging, while it's hanging on the Microsoft logo, hold down the power button for 30 to 35 seconds and count. All the way, just completely count. And I know like with a lot of the Surface Pro 3s, this works. But again, it might work with the later models. For 30 seconds, release, and then tell me if that will work. The next, ish, next thing you could do is create a USB recovery drive. And I'm not going to go into detail in this video about how to do a, a USB recovery drive. But I'll put in the description where you can link to how to do that. So basically you're using the USB that has the recovery on the USB. And then what you want to do is put it in and restart it and then try to do that. Now, if you've tried all that, um, what I want to suggest now is to do a factory restore reset. That'll put it back to uh, factory settings. I'll put the video at the end of this one so you'll see it immediately after this. But it's a factory restore that'll put it like it was out of the box when you bought it. And that should fix the problem. If it doesn't, then it might be an issue with your hard drive. So let's go ahead and show you how to do a full factory restore. You can first choose to keep all your stuff. It'll just do a refresh reset where you can still keep all your pictures and files. If that doesn't work, unfortunately, you might have to do it where it's out of the box state where all your stuff is deleted. But it might be your last uh, last hope, if, especially if you don't have like an uh, if you don't have a, a recovery on it. In this video, I want to show you how to do a full factory restore reset on any Microsoft Surface tablet computer. This particular model is a Surface Pro, manufactured in 2020. But again, it'll work with any Surface computer, um, Microsoft. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to have it pl fully plugged in, and then you want to turn it on, plugged in. But go to the startup page where you would have your like your password. Click on that, and then what you want to do from here, you want to use your your keyboard that comes with the Microsoft computer. If you don't have the keyboard for whatever reason, you can purchase you an old desktop um, uh, a keyboard that has a USB connection, and then just hook up the USB to the side. You can get one if you don't have one. You can get one on Amazon for six or seven bucks, like an old cheap one, just to use one time. Um, and you will be able to do this if you do not have the password. So you can bypass the password if you forgot it. So what you want to do with the keyboard in, you want to hold down the shift button right here, shift. You want to go down here to the bottom where the power button is, right here. And then you want to restart. And again, you want it plugged in. And you'll do this while still holding the shift button until it completely powers off and turns back on. OK, 
Okay, and now you're going to get to a screen here. And again, this computer is Microsoft uh, Windows 10, um, which all your services are. And so from here, you have uh, some choices. What you want to do is go to Troubleshoot. And Reset This PC will be the next one you choose. So you have two things. Keep My Files removes apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. Or the second one would be to remove everything. Removes all of your personal files, apps, and, and settings. This is the one that we're going to choose. Um, and for this one, that would bypass the uh, password that you would have on there. It will remove all your videos, um, personal information, web history, all that stuff. So you would do this to get rid of like a Trojan horse, or you would do that to get rid of um, a virus. Um, or if you just want to resell your PC, you can do that. And then you, you click that. Um, and that takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And that should, should get you all set uh, to restore your computer. All right, thanks for watching. You! You! Come here! You! Yes, you! I need your help. Come here! You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need. I visualize. I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button. I want a YouTube play button and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world you can have. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. Alright? So please, please subscribe.